We're just gonna go over a quick two-man game as far as horizontal and then vertical, okay? So if Andrew and I are together, okay, we're just gonna go through real quickly what we wanna see, all right? First and foremost, don't wanna see everybody in the same planes, okay? So we wanna see one guy get high, okay, and one guy get low, okay? Well, this is gonna create much better angles. All right, so Jimmy, you're covering me, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, Nicholas is coming there. Okay, so when we start this, we want one guy to drift down or give a little dummy dodge, okay? But when we throw back, all right, we wanna create a 45 degree angle either way. Notice, okay, that Coach D'Ambrosio is right in the middle of the field, so he can go either way. Okay, now I wanna come up, in, and then up towards this pick, all right? towards this pick and I can go either side right now, all right? And now when I set this, we've created a nice 45 degree angle here, okay? This is what we wanna generate up top with our two man games, because if he comes off of this, they have one of two options, stay or switch, okay? Stay or switch. It's a shorty and a shorty, most times they'll switch, but we'll go through that in a second. But when we do this, now if they stay and we just create a shoulder to shoulder rub, he gets hit up in the wash, he goes right down, and he's got a free lane. Okay, come back. All right, if they switch it, if they switch it, we slip. That's simple. Okay, if they switch it, we slip. So he comes with this, they switch it, I'm slipping to the open space. Nice catch, Nick. <laughs> okay, I, get, I slip to this open space, and I'm wide, not tight, so I can catch and fire or reattack. Okay? Also, if the switcher has a poor angle, he can just run right by him. Okay, this is very tough on Jimmy here because if he's on me and I go in and then up and he's late on this and they switch this, all right, it's a hard reaction for him. Do we understand that? When we go to the vertical, okay, when we go to the vertical, so now we wanna stay on this side, okay? Well, we can do what we just did. Right? I can come up and I can mirror him and just let him go, dodge either way, dodge this way. I just slip this and now I just replace. If they double, then boom, I'm here. I can step in, I can reattack. Okay, do we understand that? All right, or we can pass down, pick down. Okay? Pass down, pick down. He pops out. Okay, then I'm coming in. And now when I come here, the beauty of this is. Once he goes, he's getting to the middle of the field. So with every step that he takes, he's increasing his shooting angle. So I understand these concepts offensively. Yes? Okay, high level stuff now is the repick. So let's say he comes up and in for me, all right? And it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, now he just repicks and I come right back and now I'm here. Okay, anybody understand this? Any questions? Okay, defensively here, Bri? Yeah, defensively, we, we, we're pretty simple as well too. Really two concepts I want to talk about. The first is, the first is our one-on-one -on -one defense and how we play the ball initially. That, we, we can set the tone in these drills by how hard we play the ball. Don't let them dictate to us what they want to do. If we just sit here and let Coach Boyle, let me get your stick, let me go defense real quick, and let Coach Boyle, Coach Ambrose, you just do whatever they want to do, it's easy. They can pick, they can do whatever they want to do. But if I'm up here and I'm playing hard defense on Coach, on Coach Boyle, and I'm telling him, hey, you're not going, you're not going this way, that means he's staying down there. That tells the whole defense where he's going. So playing the ball hard is the key to all defense. All defense is your one-on-one -on -one defense, putting them and forcing them to where they want to go. So if he's on this side, Coach Boyle, you're not getting to this side. You're not getting to this side, and I'm only, the only way you're going is down here, right? That's, that's how we're going to start this drill is by playing the ball hard. The second concept, and everybody talks about it because it's the only thing you can do on defense, is communicate. It's communicate with one another. If you guys don't talk to each other, there's going to be a lot of goals put in for the offense this or the, this session, okay? So we need to talk to one another and make sure we're on the same page. Like Coach Boyle said, there's only really two things we can do when they come to set this pick. If we're playing the ball hard, he comes up to set the pick, boom, 
First thing, with a lot of guys will probably have to do on a downhill pick, especially short to short, we'll probably have to switch this. Just because of this momentum, we might have to switch it. If we have to switch, if we have to switch, it's got to be this guy's call. The guy who's setting the pick has to give him the call. Hey, pick left, pick left, pick left. Right, Coach Farrell, we're going to switch, 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 switch. If you get switched off to, you're right on that picker. You're right on that picker. You're hugging him. Don't let him go. Okay? But what we can do, if we get back to that first concept and we're playing the ball hard, sometimes you'll be like, Coach, pick's coming, right? Pick's coming. Pick's you can coming. Keep, you try to stay through with it. And that, once again, boils back to your on-ball defense. So playing the ball hard and communicate to one another, that's how you're going to win these matches. It tells the defense what you're doing. Do you dictate to the offense what they want to do? All right? Any questions? No? OK, let's back up. Two guys on offense, two guys on defense. OK? Let's start with one pass across, and we're live. Everybody else behind the midfield line. Good. Shot. Good. Next two. Let's go. Next four. Next four. Next four. Next four. Next four. Next four. Ready? Here we go. Pass across, and we're live. Good talk. Good talk. Shot. Good. Next four. Let's go. Next four. Let's go. Next four. Let's go. Shot. Good. Good. Now go back. Good. Shot. 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 Walt's the first guy to actually take the ball low. Carry. Roll back and throw it up top. Okay. How do we want to set this up? How do we want to set this up offensively? 45 degree angle. So if Connor's on my team, okay, I'll just do this. Okay. Now we're in it. Now we're in it. Okay. Let's go next group. Stay in the middle. 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 Good. Good. Excellent. Good. Good, Nick. Stay in the middle. Good. That's it. That's it. Good, Nick. Drift. Drift. That's excellent. Excellent, you two! Pull that! Pull that! Perfect! Perfect! Does anybody see how clean that is? Does anybody see how simple that is? Yes? Okay? If you, if you pay attention, you will score. Okay? Hey, hey, Nick! Very well done! Chandler, very well done! Okay? Repick! Repick! Good! Good on-ball pressure! Good on-ball pressure! Very well done. Here we go. Mini switch. Mini switch. Now we're picking it up a little bit, right? Let's go. Mini switch. Good job re-attacking on that switch, okay? Well done. Very, very good job. Very good job. And the first drill that we're going to go over today is a mental drill that works on hand-eye coordination as well. Sad. And it's catching. So these two drills really focus on clamping the ball down the line and getting the ball right into the, the heart of the lacrosse head, right in the sweet spot, right in the bottom.